Hello and welcome. I'm again in the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area. This is the same day that I tried to find the Mayfield Ice Cave. And after not being successful, I went to this other location. This is called the Water Caves. Um, this is closer to uh, the Madison Lake. And uh, this is even more obscure. The, the, I found a uh, location on a map, or a name, this name on a map. And there should be three or four caves here. There was a markings for three or four caves. So I decided to go to here, and this was uh, on a very narrow um, forest road. Just barely enough for one car to go through. Um, vegetation on both sides. And I stopped in where I assumed should be the location of these caves and got out of my car and started walking around and I found a few small caves but none with water in it so I really doubt if I am truly in the right location although towards the end of the video you will, you will see when I got back to the road, I got back to a place where there was a marking. Somebody had put a marking on the, the roadside, indicating my view that this is indeed the location of the caves. I just may not have found the actual big entrance, if there is one, I don't know. Like I said, there is, I couldn't find any information about this these caves online except for the, the name on a map. Here is one of the the small caves, small entrances. And this area was a little more difficult to to walk around because there were no um, a visual, what do you call that? Marks in the when you look around, there was no no clear landmark that I could orient myself to. Like typically, there is a mountain that you can see in the in the distance, or you see the the range of a forest or or a big hill. But here, whatever direction I looked, it looked the same. So I didn't want to walk too far because then you get the danger to walk around in circles and not find your way back anymore. So we didn't want that to happen, especially since there was no big road, just a very small uh, forest road, which by itself was not easy to find. So I'll just give you some impressions here of the conditions of the, the earth crust because it was uh, it's a it's a nice area it's nice variation of little caves or little cavities and collapsed tubes I, I assume but not the cave that I was expecting to find. So here's another little cave. And it is called a water cave, so I did expect to find real water in it because in my explorations um, earlier this year, I did find uh, a very small cave that had water in it. So I know it does exist. 
but here I was expecting to find something more, well, spectacular, you may say. So again, one of those areas I might come back on time and maybe map it out on GPS in more accuracy if possible and then try to find the exact location of that was indicated on, on the map. So here I'm inside this small cave. So this was close, this is close to the location that I parked my car initially because uh, the road was getting so narrow that I uh, didn't want to scratch up my car even more than it already was. And after looking around here, I walked around for a bit more in the uh, north direction which is further down the in the direction that the road was leading and there is where I, I eventually got back to the road where I found the marking so I may go back and explore this area further north knows maybe find a cave there and for people who have seen my video of the Jodin ice cave this is uh, oh, pretty close to that maybe 10 12 miles from it, but the Jodin Ice Cave is uh, really easy to find, easy accessible on a paved road. But from there, you have to go on a dirt road, forest road. First section is uh, easily to drive, but then the last four miles or so to get here, and that's really uh, a narrow road and you need uh, all-wheel drive to get here. So anyway, it was just, like I said, walking around for close to an hour probably also. Finally, uh, find my way back to the road, and from there I had to find my car again. So this uh, was also interesting. Sometimes you get to a place where you see something, but then it's blocked by bushes and forest and uh, vegetation. So scramble your way through the brush is that a word? I don't know anyway I thought here I might have found a more likely area for the cave and and again, looking back, I think this is a more likely area for the cave because this is when I'm going north. And this is where closer to 
a marking on the road that I found a few minutes or 15-20 minutes later. So if when I go back I'll start my search here and then go eastward, no westward. Now I'm getting back to the, the road. You can see it there already, vaguely. And uh, once I get there, you will see um, that there's a kind of a spot to park cars and marking on the on the the ground right there in the middle. So this is the road. You get a sense of the. Uh, condition of the road. This is a wide area, so um, <coughs> that's more what it's like to drive. Thank you for watching, hope you have a nice day and uh,